I think the reason that I picked this one particular piece up, started working on it because I was feeling lost, trying to decide what to do in life. I had went to the Army and then I went to the college and I was still lost, didn't have a sense of direction. What am I supposed to do in this life? And one afternoon I hit my father's shop. I picked a small piece of wood up and I started carving on it. And when I got through with it, I saw a three-dimensional piece and it looked good. That one particular piece started the whole ball rolling. And then after that, I couldn't put wood down. I mean, I ate wood, I slept with wood. I thought I was wood. I don't think he really understood what an artist was at the time, but then started putting these things together and experimenting. He start with an idea and work with the material and figure out how he best wants to convey his ideas. Sometimes you have one idea or one conception about a piece, but it changes after a little period of time. And then you can say, I meant to do this. Willie is, hasn't had any formal training. Uh, my school is our school of hard knocks. <laughs> That's the only school that I ever had. But his approach was no different than somebody who's had formal academic training. He would take processes that he learned from a previous piece, but was always trying to strive to create something new. Trial and error. And even with errors, I turn them into good fortunes. We brought him in for uh, about a week where he worked with various school groups, did presentations, and also did a workshop. And these notes and everything that children have written me over the years that mean, you know, mean so much is because this is the way they feel. This is something that wasn't rehearsed. But Willie was able to come in and unlock the key to that lock. I know that this is rewarding, not only for myself, but for the children. I think all artists are trying to express themselves in a way that connects. He's using a, a non-traditional material, driftwood. He has to treat the wood in a special way to allow him to carve, to find the soul within the, the piece which are stories of being human. He creates this universal story that we all understand. And it was God's gift. And when he gave me a gift, I know it's good and solid. I knew it was concrete. There's no way I could do this artwork on my own. I've got a lot, not a lot of favorites, but I've got some that have more significant meaning. There's some that I'm really close to, because it's involving time. Your thoughts in a time period, what was I thinking about, what was I going through at that time? He loves life and he loves celebrating life and I think he does that through his art. All my pieces are my children. I never did it to make money. I never, I, I've always did this as a thing that I enjoy doing and it doesn't have a price on it. You never put a price on your child. I started that piece first of the year, and uh, I really didn't see any vision in it, and then uh, I saw it standing, and then it just started, the ideas just started coming out, they just, and the shapes just started, started filling the shapes, and now I see the angel or the bird, one of the two. Um, I know once I finish it. <laughs> <laughs>